Hello everybody and this is Narendra Kumar and we are from the Objective Academy and today we have the ninth class social textbook with us and we have the first chapter and it is a beautiful chapter called Our Earth and we are the first page <clears throat> so you can have a look at the uh, textbook uh, content and I will read out every word and every line of the textbook this helps us to have a very very clear and complete understanding of the content of the textbook which in turn helps us to do well in exams firstly and secondly to have an in-depth understanding of the subject <coughs> so let's start right away our earth page number one social textbook of ninth standard ssc ap syllabus social studies our earth we live on this earth along with millions of other animals, plants and microorganisms. We human beings arrived on this earth about one lakh years ago. Arrived on this earth means obviously it doesn't mean you came from another planet. Obviously it means you evolved and became complete men and women. So the men and women like you and me arrived on this earth about one lakh years ago one lakh hundred thousand years ago more than any other animal so human beings have been trying to make the earth a better place to live in we have been constantly trying to change ourselves and our surroundings in this process we have entered into conflict also with other inhabitants of the earth and amongst ourselves too but above all we have tried to understand our earth and our activities so that we can live a better life so that has been our goal for long we have looked at the earth as a storehouse of resources which we can exploit and use at will gradually we are realizing the fallacy of this viewpoint fallacy means the error our reckless reckless means without any purpose and without any clarity our reckless exploitation of the earth has meant the destruction of forests rivers hills fellow animals and even fellow humans this has resulted in what many are calling the environmental crisis like global warming and poisoning of our soils water and air today more than any other time we need to build a new understanding of our earth how it works and what we do on it and what we do with each other so this is the introduction in class 6 to 8 you have studied about diverse people living in different kinds of lands in different times so diverse people means different people living in different kinds of lands some are like this and some are like that in different times but how they use the forest soils water and minerals of the earth in the following four chapters so in the coming four chapters we will study about the earth as a large interconnected system and we will see how the rocks soils minerals water air sunshine forests animals and humans interact with each other and change each other constantly so this is a very deep statement in one sentence i read it again in the following four chapters we will study about the earth as a large interconnected system okay we will see how the rocks okay the soils you know minerals you know water air sunshine forests animals and humans interact with each other and change each other constantly so i think you got the english there the 
the English part and the meaning there. So that completes the introduction to our earth. So, so much has been said in the introduction. So, in the sequence is very clear cut. He talks about the earth. When it came into existence one lakh years ago, how we are spoiling it, how we are exploiting the resources and the need to understand our earth and how all these things, rocks and soils and minerals and water, air, sunshine, forests, animals and humans interact with each other constantly and that is what we will be studying in the next four chapters. So that is a wonderful introduction. Now we go to the next unit.